Hey guys, Marcus here from blogprofitnetwork.com. That's where you can go to get all these cool videos, tools, tips, and everything to be able to make money online as an affiliate marketing blogger. But today what we'd like to do is we're going to talk about doorway pages, bridge pages, gateway pages, and cloaking. Now when I talk about cloaking and bridge pages and doorway pages, we're not talking about like cloaking an affiliate link, which is where you know you would take your big long affiliate link and cloak it so it's smaller or so you could track it. What we're talking about here is actually cloaking the content that the search engines see. And when you have door pages, bridge pages, and gateway pages, these are basically pages that are designed to get search engine ranking. Now, in the old days, what we would do is we'd try to get the attention of the search engine, right? And the search engine is here, whether it was Google, Yahoo, Hotbot, if you're been around that long, or whatever it was, right? And our goal was to get the attention of these search engines. We wanted them to look at us, right? Wanted them to look at us and know that we exist. Now what we would do in the old days, and some people still do it today, is a slightly black hat method. And what it was, was creating a page that the search engine would see. Okay, so we would have a page, and let's say we were going for a keyword like elephant training, right? What we would do is we would have a page that was about elephant training. Okay, and this page would basically have a bunch of gibberish on it that would make the search engine happy. It would be like, hey, today we're going to talk about elephant training. Elephant training is a really neat way to train your elephant. So if you're interested in elephant training, please check out the elephant training links below. Elephant training, elephant training one, elephant training two. And that's what the search engine would see, would be all this gibberish stuffed with keywords about our main keyword we were trying to get. Now, there were several ways to do this. One way to do this would be to have this page, right? And everywhere that it said elephant training, we would have a link to the affiliate offer or the page that we wanted our visitor to see. Okay, so we're showing something to Google and then we want them to originally go to this affiliate page. Okay, so one way of doing it was having the links on the page, okay? That would be like a gateway page. It's like, okay, welcome to my page. Please click the link because there's no valid information here for you, so you have to go somewhere else. Now, another way was called cloaking, and what cloaking would do is it would have this page, which is pretty much identical to this, this example of the gateway page, but what would happen is there would be a little script that would redirect them to the affiliate page, right? So Google, or the search engine would look at this content and they're saying, wow, this page is great. It's all about elephant training and it looks wonderful. But your visitor, put your visitor over here, would see the affiliate page or whatever you wanted them to see. Okay, so you're basically tricking Google. You were cloaking your site. Now, the way that they did this was with a JavaScript redirect. Okay, JavaScript redirect basically was like a, a refresh and they'd come to the page, the content would be there, but they'd, they wouldn't even see it because it's so fast it would redirect to the affiliate page. Another way of doing this was called an iframe. An iframe is a little page within a page, right? It's a tiny little thing. You can make it like a one pixel page and this page here would contain all the elephant junk. Okay, so you'd have this one pixel that no one could see because it's too small. And then down below in the other iframe would be your affiliate stuff. Okay, and this is basically what they did back then to get this kind of stuff going. Now you can still do this kind of stuff. It's not really that great of an idea because it doesn't provide good content. And whenever we provide bad content, people get savvy to it, the search engine catches on, and you have a very, very, very short-lived SEO career. So what you want to do is you want to do something different, right? Instead of cloaking, instead of doing this, why not provide value based on the keyword? Now what I've found in my years of marketing is that this kind of method does work. I mean, it tricks a search engine, it gets traffic, it makes money, but the amount you're making per click is so little because you're basically just jumping them to another thing, right? So what I like to do is I like to take keywords that I know I can rank for. So instead of going for something like elephant training or whatever, I'd be like, how to fix your elephant's foot, right? And I'd make a, an article and I'd have someone write an article and say, okay, here's the 10 ways to fix your elephant's foot, 
right? Number one, this way. Number two, this way. And then I'd lead them to affiliate things. Maybe there's elephant shoes or elephant foot cream or whatever there is that's going to help them, right? If you take a little bit of time to focus on the keywords that you want, right? And focus on that user and providing value, you're going to make a lot more money in the long run. And I've seen the difference between pennies per click to making several dollars per click on the same exact traffic just by not cutting corners and giving them the information that they need. Very important. So, hope you like this. I hope it explained doorway pages, bridge pages, gateway pages, and cloaking, and all that stuff. And I hope you're getting an idea of how to provide value. It's not that you have to create tons and tons of huge content, right? Content already exists. Your job is to provide content in a really unique way that serves the user, that does the research for them, and leads to the things that make you money. So, I hope you like this. If you want to learn more about search engine marketing, affiliate marketing, blogging, everything, check out blogprofitnetwork.com or subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video.